if you're a bottom level, like zero experience wow. investor, you can get results like a professional with no learning curve. <laughs> How is iFlip different from Robinhood, Wealthfront, and M1 Finance? Now we're naming three apps specifically, and this is because you actually had a uh, had this really come up in one of your consultations, right, Lee? Can you tell us a little bit of yeah. a, a background on this? It was actually yesterday, so it made a perfect question to add to the end here. Um, so, uh, you know, and just gathering information, understanding the customer's background, they said, hey, I currently I use Robinhood, I use Wealthfront, I even use M1 um, as well. Um, basically, the question was, how do you guys compare to them? Um, and, and so the, the first one, obviously, you know, Robinhood is more designed for the trader, the, the person who wants to get in there, you know, do things on their own. And, and typically that's more of a shorter term mindset. Whereas the other two, Wealthfront and M1, they typically are looking for more of that longer term investor, which is typically the same thing that we're looking for. Um, we're not necessarily a trading platform. We don't claim to be one. Um, now as a complimentary feature, you know, you can buy and sell a stock if you want to on your own. But again, that's not the way that, or not the reason that we're around. And that is exactly why Robinhood's around. Um, recently, Robinhood added IRAs, but you can tell they've been around about what, five, maybe even more than five years now. And they're now just coming out with IRAs. So that kind of tells you where their head's at, who they're going after and that sort of thing. Um, as for M1 and Wealthfront, the the blanket statement I guess I can make is that we're like those two companies, but on steroids. We're, we're the only one that actually uses true AI to manage the investments for you. Oftentimes places will use like a rebalancing system or maybe an algorithm, which, you know, I could argue both of those are probably better than just, you know, guessing what stock to buy and hold it for a long time. Um, but it's it doesn't compare to AI. So they both offer some cool things. Um, the last thing I'll say, though, and how we're different is that um, not only do we have AI, but we also have smart folios. So that's a little bit more similar to what M1 does, but we specialize in ETFs and individual stocks. Um, whereas like Wealthfront might do an ETF or an index fund, really they're pushing for the low cost stuff. Um, and you know, we just want things kind of like Aaron said that we have data on that are for lack of a better word, predictable. And so we can use our AI to give you an advantage and basically have a better chance of success in your long-term strategy. Yeah. Th thanks for that, Lee. Uh, I, I mean, I personally use, uh, one of these, I used to use Robinhood as well, but I actually personally use M1 finance to this day. So, uh, and, and there's a really good use case for it. So I'll just go in order with, um, with, what's listed and uh, I'll save M1 finance for, for last. Robinhood, Robinhood's purpose was to make trading more accessible and easier for like the average person. Okay. Now that's not necessarily a good thing. Um, yes, it, it, it is more accessible and it's easier. They, the, the way that they designed their UI makes it um, very easy to understand. But there's also a lot of drawbacks with that. Let's just put it this way. I know plenty of professional traders. We had many as uh, speaker trainers at Dallas. Not a single one of them uses Robinhood as their primary platform to trade. Let's just put it that way. Okay. Now, uh, so it's not for professionals. It's for people who want to either t dabble or I, I, I'm not exactly sure because I, if I were to get into this game, I would want to play at the highest level or and learn from the highest um uh, learn at the highest level not play in easy mode it's like the handicapped mode uh, of, of trading to be perfectly honest now in addition to that they've also gotten in a, a ton of hot water recently the one that the biggest tragedy that remains in my mind is this young college student uh when Robin Hood released the options feature, which is a leveraged asset class, which means you can multiply your gains and losses, uh, it, it's it, it's very dangerous, right? To, to be trading with that much leverage. Now, this student really didn't know what he was doing. He was admittedly a, uh, an, a, a newbie and he thought he lost like $700,000 
after a, on a on a Friday market close or on his options account. Now that's not that wasn't actually the case. The way that options accounts are settled, um, he didn't he wouldn't have actually lost seven hundred thousand, but he didn't know that. And consequently, you may remember the story. He tragically uh, took his own life as a result of that. Now, that's not the kind of thing like, is that Robin Hood's fault? I don't know. You know, is that, uh, you know, we're not here. We're not here to litigate who's, whose fault it is. But that's the that's the kind of thing that can happen when you let someone who has never learned to drive, you hand them the keys to a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. That's the kind of thing that can happen. And that's kind of what Robin Hood is. It's kind of like trade at your own risk. Wealthfront and, um, and M1 Finance are very similar to each other. They're not trading platforms. They're, they're designed for people who want to buy a bunch of stocks and hold them. And they're, they pretty much both do the same thing, except that Wealthfront will offer you an option where they kind of choose the recommended stocks or whatever for you, right? They'll act somewhat like a financial advisor or what they call a robo-advisor because they have some kind of automation thing. It's not AI though. Even if they try to convince you that it is, it's it's absolutely not, right? It's just a, a collection of stocks that they'll do. They'll swap them out and stuff like that. They'll do what a financial advisor or a fund manager typically does, and they'll chart. And the, and their advantage, their unique selling proposition is that they're very cheap, super cheap. Look how cheap we are: zero point five percent management fees. And a lot of people who feel like they've been getting price gouged by their mutual fund managers or by their 401k, whether their, their Schwab financial advisor, whoever, a lot of people who feel like they've been getting price gouged, look at that cheap, low, low fee, and they're attracted to it. So that's where, that's how Wealthfront um, gets a lot of their business. Now, M1, on the other hand, is absolutely free, <laughs> but they don't offer you any kind of um, professional help. You can... Uh, you can create your own bundle of stocks. It's very similar to our smartfolio experience. You can create, you can set like percentages and everything. It's fractional shares. So, you know, every single dollar is going to get invested and, and split up and everything like that. Uh, very low barrier to entry with, with M1. However, they're not going to charge you a management fee because they're not going to offer you any help. What they do offer is like a list of like popular portfolios that other people have made. Um, I've done the thing where like I made my own, I'll, I'll get into what, you know, what I use it for. I've made my own. And then I shared that link with a uh, certain, um, friends and, and family members. Um, I think M1 is the, is a really good one because, uh, it's both M1 and Wealthfront. They're, de they're designed for buy and hold. I like M1 cause it's free. Uh, it also has like a banking feature. You can get a checking account and a debit card associated with it. They also offer you loans off of the investments in your um in your cash account not your ira account you can't borrow off an ira account but off of a cash account you can all borrow money so there's all these like perks that they make um that they offer to make it extra attractive from a, from an investing standpoint though i think m1 finance is a good fit for anything you want to buy and hold and in my opinion this is not advice i would go through the disclaimers if you want me to but like this is, <laughs> this is absolutely not advice but in my opinion, the only thing in my personal investing that makes sense to buy and hold is dividend stocks. Dividend stocks, typically, not all of them, but all, the ones that I've chosen are the ones that don't move up and down that much in price, but offer a consistent payout of dividends, regardless of where, where we are in the market cycle. Bull market, bear market, doesn't matter. Um, these dividend stocks pay their dividends. So that makes sense. I don't really, in my personal opinion, I don't need AI to manage that. Right, so that's why that's a, a, an outside investment uh, outside of the iFlip app, where I have more of my money actually. Um, but for my dividend strategy, I use M1 just to kind of get familiar with the uh, with, with the app and take advantage of the other perks that they offer. Uh, I think M1 is a good fit for that. But none of these, as Lee has mentioned, offer <laughs> any kind of AI protection at all. Right. Uh, every single person, I, I'll bet that every single person who had a Wealthfront and buy an M1 account that were just buying and holding, not touching their investments in 2022, got got slaughtered. Right? They probably these these uh, portfolios are designed to match the S&P, 
So they probably lost around the 20% that the S&P lost last year. iFlip, on the other hand, lost closer to like like three or four percent somewhere somewhere around there depending on your smart folio so that's the difference that's what you pay it a, a subscription fee for whereas these guys they they offer they're either completely free and they make money on the float on the back end or they are or they charge an AU, AUM fee now um that's that's how iflip is is different it's designed so that if you're a bottom level like zero experience wow. investor you can get results like a professional with no learning curve whatsoever that's the that's the advantage wow.